just like Jasmine, this is the first time yeah. Marcus has oh, ever best. met an Aboriginal family. Right now, I'm, I'm studying at uni. Uh, it's only four hours a week. Other than that, I'm surfing, I'm working a little bit, and uh, hanging out with friends. Marcus lives with his girlfriend's parents on Sydney's northern beaches. He believes his sheltered life means he's never had the chance to meet Aboriginal people, something he wants to change. I really want to see what Aboriginal Australia is like firsthand because I think it'll be completely different to this area, the people around here, and how I'm living. For me, I, I can't live in this perfect bubble the whole of my life. I feel like I'm definitely a blank slate and, and heading into something that will completely scribble all over that. Like, I've always thought of Redfern as a kind of unsafe area and, yeah, not, not always sure if people from the Northern Beaches want to go over there and, and spend their night there because they're just worried about, you know, getting mugged or something. There was a time when it, it, it was like that, but the whole community got together and um, we chose to, to be the solution and change things. Mm. In a generation, some of these kids will be the doctors and they could be the lawyers and the police yeah. officers yeah. and the pilots in this area. Yeah. Um, that's what we're thinking. And for a long time, we were, we were um, shackled by our own perception of ourselves. Uh, if we looked in crime stats in top places, we are way down below. We're, we're no longer the, the place where we were. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, in fact, the opposite is, in the northern beaches, it's oh, one no. of the highest ones. Oh. Shame. Shame on us. <laughs> yeah, now I know where to, um, where to bring up my kids. I want to take, you know, some of these lessons that I'm learning um, and, and exactly what Marcus is saying, you know, how, how can I communicate better with the Aboriginal people in, in my job as a law enforcement officer?